is a beautiful rainy day right here in the village. So we're cooking inside. Now, we have our cold pots. These are local cooking pots where you put charcoal and then fire. It's been in our tradition for years. And I'm using our local leaves from my garden today, Kuntumere. Now, Kuntumere is like spinach in the international market, but it's tastier. It has more flavor and it's highly nutritious. So washing the leaves are pretty easy. You have to make sure that all the sun comes out. In the markets, they sell it like this, you know, wrapped. This is a bundle from the market. But you have to come and open it up. It opens up like this, like a flower. And then you have all your contumery leaves. Very delicious leaves. So is the pepper ready? Almost ready, mommy. Okay, good. Today I'm cooking with my oldest daughter, Zuri. Such a pleasure. You know, having children is such a gift. Having her here in the kitchen, learning recipes that I learned from my mother and grandmother. It's just a wonderful blessing. So now I am cleaning up these leaves. I'm removing out, you know, the stems. But everything else is really good. If you don't like too much of it, you can definitely prune it up a bit. But it's not necessary because we're going to grind them. Today we're cooking something that would take about 15 minutes. So you don't need to boil this a lot. These leaves take less than three minutes to cook. But today we are having roasted plantain and contumery sauce in a very simple old fashioned way. All you need are onions, contumery, some spices, salt, and the roasted plantain. My girls love plantain for this reason I find various ways of cooking them roasting them is another way to keep the flavor and keep it sweet peeling plantains are pretty easy Once the plantain is roasting it's time to dip this in hot water now we are not trying to overcook it just a simple dip I already have some water boiling here. So it's time to dip the leaves in hot water. You can either cut them up or roll them the way I am doing. I like to roll it. So all you do is the leaf is like this and you roll it. And drop it in there. Now we want this to boil for not longer than five minutes. That's the last one. So I have my ladle here. Just pushing the leaves into the hot water and leaving it to simmer for about five minutes. So whilst that's boiling, let's check on our plantains. Some more charcoal here so this is where fire comes from this is the charcoal that is used to increase or reduce fire mommy's ready now oh okay great it's just in time for the consumer so these are local peppers that would just add some flavor into the food not too spicy, but full of flavor. Yeah, the quakoshito pepper is locally grown here. They smell divine. Okay, so it's time to grind this. Can you help me? So now we have to pour the water out. So this is ready now. The leaves are cooked as you can see, easy to tear. 
So it's time to grind. Susu, can you grind that? We're grinding it into the spices because it's already cooked. It doesn't need to be cooked all over again. Once the water drains, you can drop it in. Now you can blend this in a blender, but we prefer the traditional way because it adds more flavor to the food. Wow, you did a good job. It's all blended. So now it's time to fry it, right? Yes. We'll just put a little cabbage. Do you want some carrots in there or do you just want cabbage today? Just cabbage. Just cabbage? Okay. Okay, let's get a chopping board for the cabbage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You want to try? Yeah. Just really thin. Like it this size, so you have to cut these into small sizes. Look how thin they are. Okay, you can do it. Oh, you want to cut the onions instead? No. No. Why? Burns my eyes. I know onions will make you cry. Ooh is washing my eyes as I like to call it but it tastes delicious and food don't you like them yes yeah but you don't want to cut them yeah very soon you have to learn honey no they make me teary yeah <laughs> that's for me okay okay so the plantains are almost done roasting it's time to make a little stir fry with edible shea butter. Thanks, Zuri, for scooping this out of the box. You're welcome. Okay, so we need a little shea butter. Now, mostly, uh, in Ghanaian tradition, a lot of people eat contumery with red oil or palm oil. But today, we're doing something different. We are eating with shea butter because it has no cholesterol compared to palm oil. Something different for the kids. So it's a quick stir fry. You melt your shea butter first. We have to find a bit so that the pan is hot. So the first for the stir fry is garlic. It's frying. Then the next is the onions. We have some chopped onions here. I love these spoons. They work for every occasion. They say everything. We'll add some natural salt to taste. It's now time to add some cabbage. Now this is a recipe I make for the kids and they love it. So in cooking something fast, this works all the time. So for stir fry, you know we don't need the vegetables overcooked. So this is a stir fry with shea butter oil. You can see it frying under there. Beautifully. It keeps the food moist. Flavor. 
So that's a knack cook. Now it's time to add our contumery. The contumery is already cooked. So it's the last thing to add every time I'm making this sauce. So do you want to help to stir? Yes, so I honey. check the plantain. All the cabbages inside the contumbre. Can you do that? Yes, ma'am. Okay, I'll leave that for you. Our plantains are ready now. It's time to eat. I know you're hungry. Yes. So the spinach cabbage stew is ready. Let's have a little of that. Some lemons, yes, mommy. Here, so try. Mm. Mm. Do you like them? Mm -hmm. okay.